Hello, my name is Peter van Eyck and in this video I will introduce you to the five elements of cloud security. Let's get going. In the old days the only IT security that we had was infrastructure security and you can compare that to a fortress on the top of the hill. And in fact a lot of data centers uh, like in the 80s and early 90s were almost fortresses with uh, strict access control. Then we started sending data out and back into these uh, data centers, for example, credit card information, and then we started to think about data security. In this picture, you can see this really tiny road uh, into that data center, but by now that road has become a six lane highway. And when we started getting the web, we needed to work on application security, and this is where uh, groups like OWASP came in, and our applications were exposed to the web, and then they got hacked basically. Then we see an explosion of the amount of applications, the huge application portfolio that lots of companies had. And it was hard to see where the users ha were having access. When one user having access to hundreds of applications, how do you govern that? And that requires some kind of user focused uh, security. And finally, when we get into outsourcing and cloud in particular, it becomes important to have some kind of governance over all these uh, suppliers, really. So let, let's have a look at how cloud addresses or could potentially addresses each of these elements of cloud security. Let's get back to infrastructure security. Now, we outsource a lot of infrastructure and infrastructure as a service provider, and that means that we have to rely more on controls than on ownership as a way to um, apply security controls. Uh, we want somebody else to do the right thing instead of uh, just relying on the fact that it is on our premises and that therefore automatically the right thing happens. Because of the automation that is inherent in infrastructure as a service, we can have a lot of opportunity. We have a lot of opportunity for hyper segregation and automated deployment, which each in their own way uh, can bring potentially tremendous uh, security benefits. Moving on to data, encryption is almost required. Uh, again, we need to have some kind of automation of that because we will be needing key management at scale. And this is actually something that people are still quite struggling with. On the application level, what we see is that an application is no longer an island. An application is actually an amalgamate, a consolidation, a constellation of various services that run on various places and drawn from an ecosystem that extends way beyond the enterprise that is uh, building the application. And that ecosystem, interestingly, can also include security as a service components. Think uh, about DDoS protection or maybe identity as a service. The other thing is we've seen in the application space is that site reliability engineering, architecturing for failure and DevSecOps are ways to radically improve the quality of applications while at the same time uh, accelerating feature velocity because of the automation of the uh, continuous delivery pipeline. And this is really something that is enabled by cloud characteristics, even though you can do it in your own private cloud environment. For user security, really the only way to go is to have some kind of federated identity management. And this, in my opinion, is one of the few really new technologies and, and cloud, and even that you can debate. On the user level, uh, on the user security level, what you have to do is think through how you do account segregation and role segregation and uh, automate a lot of the provisioning um, and deprovisioning of those users and the user access rights. In a way, identity is the final perimeter. Uh, if everything else works as advertised, then the only thing that you can mess up is user access rights by making them too wide, for example. Then finally, on the governance level, we have to work with a lot of providers. That means that we have to have service level agreements with them, including it in the contracts. We will have to have an exit plan and we will have to think about some kind of continuous monitoring and logging of all those providers and uh, contractors and subcontracting services. So this sums up what, in my opinion, are the five major elements of cloud security. 
somewhat in historical or chronological order of appearance. And really cloud security is understanding all of these in a lot of detail. If you want a deeper dive into all of these areas, then I definitely suggest that you have a look at the Certificate of Cloud Security Knowledge, uh, CCSK for short. Thanks for watching. My name is Peter van Eyck and this is the YouTube channel Club Cloud Computing. Please like the video and subscribe to the channel.